Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. We're back on tour with G4 for the Christmas special. Boys, hello. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Let's go around and remind everybody who you are. Who are you? I'm Jonathan. I'm the blonde one. More or less. Yeah, so it's all real as well. Mm. And you're wearing makeup today. Congratulations. Thanks. You're looking at me close. Damn. Uh, Damn. I nearly put mine on, but I thought better of it. Well, you know, I'd, I'd like it natural on you. It's fine. Yeah, I think yeah, so. You still scrub up well. Can't polish a turd, can you? <laughs> Hello, Ben. How are you? Speaking of, <laughs> I don't know what to do after you guys have, after you guys have flirted away. But <laughs> well, you can roll it in glitter. You can roll it in glitter. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm Ben. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. And uh, we move on to the new boy. How are you doing? Nick. Hi, how are you doing? Nice to see you, Nick. Are you all right, Mike? How are you doing? No, I'm Barbara. Barbara. Oh, no, sorry, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, Mike. Thank well, you, you look good for a Marlborough. Yes, not bad. Could I pass it? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. And uh, congratulations, who's brought the sausage on the table? Uh, it's not me, actually. I bought it, actually. I bought, I bought the sausage. I bought sausage for all, so that was, that was kind of We me. all bring different things to the table, and for Ben, it's, it's sausage. <laughs> you know when we do the picture at the end, I think that should be in it. Quite heavily, really, shouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be festive. You could hang it on a door That's or something. Jackie's. On a door. <laughs> on a door. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Boys, congratulations. I got this new CD, and thank you for sending it, by the way. I really appreciate it. A, it's beautifully made and B, it celebrates you all gloriously and now you're on tour in Derby tonight. You can't have everything and uh, speak slowly for them, (laughs) won't you? Uh, Don't comment. I've got relatives here so you get me in trouble. It's all right, I'm only 10 miles down the road so (laughs) I can say it. Um, And you're on tour with this cathedral show which really is perfect. I mean, this is what you were born to do, entertain with your natural gifts in a cathedral. Well, it's uh, it's great to have the natural design space to sing. It's how we all grew up singing. It's how uh, we've all enjoyed as kind of a a staple um, throughout our solo careers as well and it's lovely to do it again as a group with the Christmas album it's a special evening did you ever think you'd be back doing these because I mean there was a point where G4 was over and then you came back to test the water and the fans went no we want more it is amazing that you're back and so successful we were we were away for seven years and it's I have to say it's Mike's fault really that this has all happened in the first place he kind of got us all in with the idea of doing a one-off show to celebrate the 10-year reunion um, 10 years since we were on the X Factor and um, from that people came and the support which is so amazing we just thought we'd give it a go and see what happened and the support has just been fantastic people have come people have kind of reunited with us and it's been an amazing journey you kind of gave me a ticket to see you in the summer on the summer tour and it was again a a remarkable success I mean people loved it and I think it feeds the next thing doesn't it it's fed the CD and this tour Um, you were glad how that went it was insane I mean to see so many people there and you know supporting us and really enjoying it getting on their feet at the end singing along it's just great fun and that's that's why we're carrying on because it's just great fun really let's get to the good bit now the stories on the boss who was the most inappropriate Nick and who took the clothes off first probably our tour manager Jackie <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's about it I think that's I've never seen so much flesh in all my life I think was it delicious uh, Jackie mm-hmm. um, <laughs> it had his moments yeah I would say <laughs> oh Jackie's not a female <laughs> No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> That's disappointing, isn't no, it's it? Jack, he's, he's far from yeah Female. what you might have imagined. <laughs> you'll, you'll see him on the way out on the merch stand. He's probably the most opposite you've got in your head at the moment. He's a he's a slightly burly uh, um, ex army kind of guy, and he he was great fun. There's one funny moment where he woke up one morning and there was a lorry from some supermarket with baby, a big baby on it and this nappy, and there was Jackie sat in his shorts looking similar on this like camping <laughs> chair right in front. We got some wicked pictures from that. It was good times. When you go on tonight. It's amazing because your four voices all come together. And I always think this time of year, there's people coughing as I walk through. Are you continually paranoid that at some point you're going to pick something up from somebody? I mean, would it be nice for everybody to keep their mouth shut this evening? I don't think you go around being paranoid because you just, yeah, you just go insane, wouldn't you, really? You've just got to hope not and try and stay away from people if they're coughing and spluttering. But... Yeah, you just got to co- yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just got to take each situation and you know just hope you don't get down with it, but not yeah, not get too het up get about it. it. Get, down, yeah. get down, get. It's, it's that sort of Christmas. You know, show, I just yeah. I do a bit of rap to get out, you know, and it and it helps. It's that new sort of rap, K rap, isn't it? Yeah, well, it prevents colds and flus, so it's worth it. <laughs> and then the show tonight. I mean, is it mainly? as solely the Christmas CD that you brought out we should talk about that because it's available now um, and it's got everything from Panis Angelicus to these wonderful traditional Christmas carols and then new stuff like All I Want for Christmas which you did beautifully on it as you always do um, is that what we're going to get tonight? Exactly this uh, this uh, Cathedral Christmas by Candlelight Tour or Tours the album but also has some of our f- kind of popular songs we've got Ness and Dormer in there we've got uh, Danny Boy and we've got some moments that just fit the acoustic as well and we're delighted to also have on tour with us Rock Choir who've been uh, on 
on the reunion tour in the, in the same space and also a small soprano um, in each of the venues who is uh, is going to be performing once in Royal David City. So it's great to kind of inspire the next generation of singers. Are you a big fan of Christmas? I mean, do you like it? When will you stick yours up, for example? Excuse me? <laughs> your Christmas tree, your Christmas tree. Of course, that's obviously what you meant. So they make so much mess, Christmas trees, don't they? And you have to take them down again. And well, not if it's plastic. No, not if it's plastic, but that's not the point, is it? I mean, now we've got well, an insight. We'll we've got it up if it's plastic. Yeah, exactly. We've yeah, got an yeah. insight into your family home now. That's great. But um, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I really like Christmas. I like the music making that kind of Christmas brings with it, and the whole feel of it. It's, it's a lovely time of year, and people kind of become much more kind of close knit with family and stuff like that, and that's really cool. Who's got the biggest one here? I mean, a six foot tree, five foot tree. Who's got the biggest? I wouldn't want to brag. Really I've got an eight foot one actually. Wow. It takes a while to put it up though. He's always bragging. This one, isn't he, Jonathan? He's always bragging. He's got a star on top as well <laughs> <laughs> is there something magical especially singing these songs at this time of year in this religious building I mean let's be honest this is an emotional place to perform because these songs sort of come to life does it add an extra thing for you as performers absolutely uh, and for me the most poignant moment in the show is uh, is not a Christmas song per se but it's on the album we're associating both the album and the tour with missing people and uh, we introduce that song uh, and our association and it brings uh, the Lemmy's classic Bring Him Home to a totally new place and I've got emotional every single night so far singing that and I think it gives people a new way of hearing a song they're incredibly familiar with but it's emotional absolutely it's a, it's a real true connection I think in these spaces more than any other style of performance I've just realised you've got really wonderful teeth Thanks. I'd, I'd never noticed before. Where, where do I get those? I need those because mine are terrible. <laughs> eBay. eBay. How much? On discount? I, <laughs> the council put them the in? The funny thing about my teeth is uh, is through a uh, main part of our career, they were really wonky and I never ended up getting them fixed. It drove me mad. And then I went and had a, uh, a fixed brace for four months and I love it. These guys take the mick all the time. So I whiten them and keep them going. And they, no, they're great. So they're not false. You don't sort not, of put them in I a jar in I the I can't evening. take them out. No, no, they are mine. Never had a filling in my life and I'm delighted I did it. It was really good. Well, I couldn't be four months though. I think I'll stick with my sort of jagged ones yeah yeah just don't believe a word he says about the teeth i don't think what i can't take them out what are you trying to say they're just it's a bit difficult when he smiles because it's just a bit too bright like <laughs> now i'm struggling to look at him because he's smiling. very alid jones isn't it if you know what i'm saying we haven't got he is quite alid jones actually yeah <laughs> just going back to the bring him home thing that you mentioned why is that song so remarkable and so popular i just saw them is on broadway a few weeks ago and it never loses it does it what, what is it about that song that people love so much it's the it's a slow build in the tune that just really really kind of creates this tension and and actually sort of draws you in emotionally with the music and it's slow paced and um has that undulating piano underneath and it really really just reflects those words perfectly i think um it just uh, there's just nothing like it when you get into the chorus and also lamis is like the kind of the show itself it's like a society isn't it it's like we all know people who are like every single character in lamis we all know a valjean we all know a little cousin we all know the old bags they singing it as well you know and so it really it really hits home for a lot of people because you can really relate to it it's incredible and i wonder whether you go into that excited or with fear because by the end it does crescendo into this huge thing and if you can't rise to the occasion you're going to look pretty bloody stupid aren't you yeah, what what are we talking about now? Are well, we still the, talking about bringing him home? The big end of it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, absolutely. I mean, it's you know the climax at the end. No pun intended there. But um, yeah, it really is. It as Nick was saying, it just builds and builds. And obviously, because we've got some crazily high um, voices in amongst our group, you know, it really builds that crescendo. We're also underpinned by Nick's deep voice, and I think it really just um, gets that in. And and we have added a key change as wow. well which is not in the original but it just gives that extra lift and um yeah and it really it's an emotional one as jonathan was saying and and the audience there's there's a lot of tissues at that moment i have to say do you often find your audience need tissues by the end of a performance jonathan yeah not just the audience either <laughs> <laughs> and when you came in you had a squirt and a wipe what was this thing you were putting on as aftershave. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah, you should try it. This to you, Alex. Yeah, I, I'm not aware of this. What is, a, what creates, is this strange thing in a bottle? It's a nice aroma about you, so people become attracted to you as a person. That's not going to happen, though, is it, Nick? Oh. Let's be honest. No. That's, that's just not... That's, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I thought it was amaretto when I was in, so I got quite excited until I realised it wasn't. So. It's more, looks more like a sample. Never mind. Um, oh. How many of those do you have before a show? Red Bull at um, 7 o'clock? It could be dangerous. Red Bull. I've, I've oh, gone, it's not the, the cheap I've gone version. for the cheap alternative. You haven't been in the pound shop again. Uh, not the pound. No, I've gone even 
even more luxurious than that. It's like a supermarket special. But we um, twenty nine p sorts me out. No, I, I unfortunately twenty nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted uh, at the moment. This is really tiring. I'm also in a panto rehearsals at the same time, so it's a little bit manic. The energy drinks are keeping me going, but it's uh, probably not that good for you. But when you need, where are you doing panto? I'm in Chesterfield at uh, the. Oh Pomic right, Panic so you're not Theater. far. Not too far. Not too far. Close How does that today. work then? So you're going to finish this before you start it. When does it start? So I'm in rehearsals at the moment, ten till three each day. Then I travel to do the G4 shows and then uh, all my days off we're filling with G4 shows as well so it's uh, a little bit manic the more interesting one to be when we're up in Edinburgh with the G4 Christmas by Candlelight Tour uh, is the fact that the day after I've got a 10am show in Chesterfield so uh, apologies to any of the audience coming that day I might be asleep on stage yeah, I'll just be glad you're there it's Chesterfield you know what I mean but you um, don't do much in the show to be honest so it's true. fine so you can just take it really easy it's fine. Yeah. to sleep in beauty and then <laughs> what is it by the way because we are 120 miles from London and still no sign of Dick Pardon? Rick, oh, uh, sorry. Dickington. Yeah, no, I, I'm not an officiado on that one, unfortunately. I've never seen Dick. Uh, but I <laughs> I have, um, I'm, I have, I'm performing in uh, <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And which dwarf are you playing? Uh, so I'm Sleepy on the, that matinee mm-hmm. one. And uh, and I'm actually Probably Prince Christopher rest. of Chesterfield, Chatsworth and Clay, Clay Cross. Wow. And they've yeah. got a bent spire, haven't they? They have. And Mind uh, you then again, haven't we all? Mm, speak for yourself (laughs) boys it's lovely to see you thank you so much let's do the big plug the CD is available now on Amazon you can get it via the website which is g4official.com indeed yeah and you can get all the tour dates here just give us very quickly where you're going between now and uh, the end of this Christmas candlelight tour Birmingham, Lincoln Edinburgh, Brighton London and uh, tonight it. we're in Derby. Well, this is too late. It'll be on by the time this gets so that was a waste of breath well I thought we'd try I thought we'd try should we sing a little message for you out oh please go ahead We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, a Happy New Year, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Beautiful. Thank you, boys. Thank Thank you. Thank you.